Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you shortcut for finding trailing zeros. How many zeros are at the end of number 44 factorial? So 44 factorial ends in a string of zeros. How many zeros are in the string? I'm going to show you an old way and then develop a shortcut for that. So it will be helpful in all the problems of this kind. So the old way for 44 factorial, let's just write all the factors of 5. So 40 will be the first one, then 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Well, we can take plenty of factors, but we are only concerned with the factors of 5. So write down the factors of 40, that is 5 and 8. So we have one factor of 5 in there. For 35, 5 and 7, we have one factor of 5. 30, 5 and 6, we have one factor of 5 here. For 25, we have 5 and 5, there are two factors of 5 here. 20, we have 5 and 4, 1 factor of 5 here. 15, 5 and 3, so we have 1 factor of 5 here. For 10, 5 and 2, we have 1 factor of 5 here. And for 5, it's 5 and 1, so we have 1 factor of 5 here. So just to emphasize, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 numbers that have at least 1 factor of 5. Then I get 1 more which has two factors of 5. So let's write down 1, which were divisible by 25. That means it has one more 5. Now let's add them up. 8 plus 1 equals 9. So 9 trailing zeros are there. So that's how to do the old way. Just counting out and add them up. Now let me show you the shortcut, which will be helpful if I give you a problem like 5000 factorial. So all we're going to do is keep dividing by 5. Here we go. 40 divided by 5 to see how many factors of 5 there are. It goes in the 8 times. So there are 8 numbers that are factors of 5. And then I'm going to take that and divide that by 5. And I get 1 that corresponds to the factors of 25, which gives you the additional 5. So again, this is a factor of 5 and this is a factor of 25. If you have a bigger number, you can keep going up and up and up. This is 5 to the 1, then 5 squared, then 5 cubed, then 5 to the 4, and so on. What's important to do is just add those two numbers. So 8 plus 1 equals 9. So there are 9 trailing zeros. And that's much shorter than having write everything out. So this is the shortcut to find the number of trailing zeros in the factorial problem. Let's take another example. How many zeros are at the end of the number 78 factorial? 75 is the first factorial which we start with. So we're going to take 75 and then keep on dividing by 5. It goes in there 15 times and then again dividing by 5, it goes in there by 3 times. So we have 15 uh, which has at least one factor of 5 and 3 which has two factors of 5. That is they are divisible by 25. So let's add them up. 15 plus 3 equals 18 and so we have 18 trailing zeros at the end of 78 factorial. So you do this one. 25 factorial has how many trailing zeros at the end? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.